Hello everyone and thank you for attending the Autonomous Technology Summit presented by Fierce Electronics, a division of Questex. This morning's track is titled Pass the Threshold Assessing the Full Potential of Autonomous Vehicles. From 11 to 11.15, Pony AI's U.S. Site Lead and VP of Engineering, Yamang Zhang, will be giving the opening keynote on scalable autonomous driving technology. All right, let's begin. Yamang, please take us away. Hi, I'm Yimeng, a VP of Engineer at Pony AI. Today, I'm going to talk about scalable autonomous driving technology. So first, let's take autonomous technology components at a glance. There are mainly three parts, sensors and uh, hardware, which sensors uh, compute and hardware integration to the vehicle platforms. And software stack, which typically includes perception, prediction, planning, control, map, and infrastructure. Finally, the product layer, referring to the end-to-end -end robot taxi experiences, including the robot taxi app, in vehicle HMI, and the supporting tools and infrastructure. The blue colored components here are those we develop at Pony AI on our own. The green ones indicate those we purchase from selected partners. At Pony AI, we build a whole AD software technology on our own while collaborating with partners on the hardware. On the right, we also gave a few example vehicle platforms we have worked on, including Toyota, GAC, and Hyundai. At Pony AI, we aim at building scalable autonomous uh, driving technology. By scalable, we mean the technology supports deploying at a huge scale in terms of the fleet size, the operation area, and the number of cities globally. To make the technology scalable enough, first, software needs to be general enough to be applied to multiple cities and be able to handle all difficult scenarios. Second, hardware needs to be reliable and consistent and supports mass production with a low cost. Finally, the operation needs to support large-scale robot taxi and is capable of expanding to multiple cities very efficiently. So first, let's talk about our software technologies. To ensure our AD technology is general enough for all different scenarios, it is crucial to ensure the data we collect and use is diverse enough to cover all complex scenarios. To this end, we have extensive testing in multiple cities in the U.S. and China, each of which provide us with dif uh, different valuable scenarios. For example, Beijing in China provides us with snow and storm weather, while Guangzhou has quite a lot of heavy rains throughout the year. At the same time, Guangzhou also has 30 times more pedestrians than the cyclists than the Bay Area in the U.S. Well, Irvine and Fremont in the U.S. provide us with many fast vehicles and 18-wheeler uh, trucks. So next, I will go over a case study that explains our technology step by step. So here we show an extremely hard but common scenario in China. The top part of the video on this page shows the images from the cameras on the car. The bottom part shows what our system sees. The white car is our self-driving car. The 3D boxes are the objects detected by our perception system, with different colors indicating the classified types. Green boxes are vehicles, orange are cyclists, and yellow are pedestrians. On top of the bottom part, we also show the recognized traffic light. The planned trajectory of the self-driving car is shown as a blue pass in front of the white car. On, top, on the top right, we also show the real-time speed and wheel angle of the self-driving car. In this scene, we are planning to go through an intersection with many other traffic participants in the same intersection. In such difficult scenarios, Traffic signals cannot completely resolve conflicted traffic flows from various directions. For example, cars traveling street needs to uh, interact with the oncoming vehicles coming a uh, left turn. In Beijing and Guangzhou, during peak hours, vehicles will drive through this kind of intersection 
for every 3.7 miles. The key to our AD solution is the global system optimization. Perception prediction planning modules need to work together to achieve safe and comfortable driving experiences. Of course, there are also other modules such as map and control, but this presentation will mainly focus on these three. Uh, so first is about perception. Perception needs to correctly detect all objects with good sanitation and classification and track them well to provide accurate speed, hiding, and trajectories. In this example, you will see that we also need to track the occluded vehicles well so as to make good reaction from the planner module. Uh, our perception system utilizes a sensor-fused solution. We have four LIDARs to cover ranges until 200 meters. We also have six cameras for object detection, plus one dedicated one for traffic light. In addition, we have four radars to provide us with longer range and speed of the objects. The key attributes here are, first, multi-sensor fusion enabling robust and reliable perception system. And it provides 360 degree field of view. And we also have redundancy in sensor coverage. The redundancy ensures we never miss vehicles or pedestrians, even if one of the sensors stop working. The sense of fusion plus our advanced deep learning based technology enabled us to catch all movable objects in the surrounding area with high precision at 100% recall. This slide shows the general approach of our prediction module. The input to the prediction system is the road and lane information and outputs from perception. We encode this information as input as illustrated on the left of this graph. Our representation of this encoding can capture the entire surrounding environment, including all road agents, so that the deep night can also capture the interactions among all these agents. Then it goes through a deep neural network with a net structure designed to be best suited for this problem. The output of this deep night is very rich, including the future trajectory and motion shown as yellow lines in the right graph and many different types of in, uh, intentions such that whether the traffic participants will yield to us or not in this example there is a set list on the crosswalk we predict it as yielding to us initially and creep forward later we predict that it won't yield to us and then stop for it the data used to train this deep night is self-evolved at a large scale from automatic uh, mind scenarios in daily and label driving data to make the system more scalable. Uh, finally, it reaches our planner system. Again, for this kind of intersection, traffic conflicts are not completely resolved by traffic signals. It always involves negotiation between our vehicle and the traffic participants. The key to resolving such difficult situations, which is also the strength of our planning system, is a game model-based solution. In the game model, we consider the actions of other agents and try to come up with a driving decision that would make most sense of all of us. This decision is adjusted at every 0.1 second as we keep interacting with other agents. On the left side of this slide, we show two examples of self-driving car going through an intersection. There are other vehicles, cyclists, and pedestrians around us. Some of them are going straight, and some of them are uh, making a turn. We adjust our trajectory and our motion through the negotiation with other agents and smoothly pass through these intersections. Uh, that's the main uh, approach for our software that provided us with a scalable autonomous driving system. Next, let's talk about hardware. For scalability, hardware needs to be reliable and consistent and supports mass production at a low cost. For reliability and consistency, we did extensive evaluation and testing at component and system level. On the bottom part of this slide, 
we are showing some examples in the A sample stage at both component and system level, including mechanical shock tests, vibration tests, thermal tests, and waterproof tests. For scalable vehicle retrofit, we have also built a standardized production line and supply chain management process for quality assurance and efficiency, which provides foundation for the mass production. Another factor for hardware scalability is the ecosystem. At Pony AI, we are building strong collaboration ecosystem that provides key foundation for scalable, safe, and industry-leading AV technology. Here, we are showing some example strategic partners for every area. For OEM, we are collaborating with Toyota GAC4 for vehicle co-development uh, co and mass production. For Tier 1 auto suppliers, we work together with Bosch and Denso for fleet management and vehicle control. On computation and chip side, we work with uh, Xilinx and NVIDIA to build intelligent devices powering L4 AD compute system. For sensors, we partner with Lumina and Onsemi for sensor platform and next generation sensor technology. Finally, the last key part, operation, which needs to be able to support large scale fleet deployment and needs to be able to expand to multiple cities efficiently. On the top of this page, it shows our speed for expanding to new cities. In 2017, we started to operate in Fremont, the Bay Area in the US, where, the, uh, where is also where the company is founded. At the time to make our AD vehicle operate in the city, it took six months. Over time, we launched our fleet in Guangzhou, Irvine, San Francisco, etc. The time to launch to a new city got significantly decreased. Last year, when we launched in Hefei and Shanghai in China, it only took us two weeks for everything, including infrastructure setup, data collection, map labeling, and all the validations. This efficiency was achieved mainly through two technologies we developed over years. The AI technology for efficient and high quality map generation, and also the scalable infrastructure for map maintenance. So the second and also the most important part is the scalable virtual driver capability. The main contributor here is a diverse testing area that enable the generalized technology. The more generalized the technology is, the easier it is to expand to a new city. Another contributor is the scalable simulation and infrastructure that enabled fast operation launch as well. So at Pony AI, our vision is autonomous mobility everywhere by building the safest and most reliable self-driving vehicle technology and delivering at a global scale. So we are on track to mass deployment of robot taxi in multiple cities. Thank you.